Did you know that Tesla builds its cars so fast only using robots? Tesla is perhaps the first automobile company to fully employ robotics to mass produce cars. The concept is as challenging as it sounds innovative. In this video, we'll talk about how Tesla bravely implemented its vision for producing cars and today is the lead manufacturer of automobiles. What was the background? So the real question is, what prompted Tesla to put forward this vision? Back in 2018, Tesla was on the verge of financial insolvency because it had poured billions into a factory which was filled with dysfunctional robots. Since these robots barely worked, the company was unable to meet its production numbers. Fast forward to today, Tesla is perhaps the leading competitor in the field of automobile manufacturing and the competitors are lagging behind at least 10 years from developing the heavily automated process. Perhaps the more intriguing question is, how was Elon Musk able to turn the tide in his company's favor? The initial strategic blueprint for Tesla. All roads lead to the initial strategic vision for Tesla. This vision consisted of building a sports car and using the money generated from the sale of the sports car to make an affordable car, and then using this revenue to build a more affordable car, and finally funneling these resources to produce zero emission electric cars. The plan worked brilliantly, well, at least at the initial stages. The first car models of Tesla, including Roadster, Model S, and Model X, were all designed to be luxury cars, which were meant to be produced in lower numbers. The idea was to use manual labor so that no compromises would be made in its quality. Using manual labor at first would enable the company to evade the intricacies of automated production, at least for now. The company graduated to subsequent stages in its strategic vision in 2016. Now the vision was to go for more affordable cars which were meant to be produced in massive numbers. This would bring Tesla closer to the real automotive kings of the time. The company was able to pre-sell a huge number of new Model 3 generating a revenue of about $12 billion. The company had its work cut out and so it aimed to produce about 5,000 cars per week, which equals to about one car after every three minutes. To make matters worse, Musk wanted to change how the cars were to be designed. Now, this is where automation becomes the core feature of Musk's strategic vision for the company, the automation strategy for Tesla in 2016. The production strategy in 2016 for the Model 3 consisted of first producing the alien-looking factory, completely devoid of any human worker, and second, thinking about the hardware as we think about software. Let's talk about building the factory, which resembled an alien spacecraft from a sci-fi movie. The Alien Dreadnought As unrealistic as production targets were, Musk's idea of completely automating the production facility also seemed a little wacky. Again, there was to be no human worker in this automated factory because attaining the projected production speed would be impossible if human workers were involved. Everything at this point had to proceed at robot speed. Robotic mechanisms could produce more efficient results more consistently and more accurately, making automation a more desirable end than using human labors. Thinking about hardware like software. Before we can elaborate on this, we need to talk about Musk's background. Musk was always interested in developing software and thought of himself as a software entrepreneur. He thought about hardware and building a more tailor-made and flexible software. The goal of this is to produce a finished product and get it to the client as soon as possible so that direct feedback will help in improving the design. As far as software products are concerned, this strategy works really well since it doesn't take too much effort to update the product. Tesla aim to incorporate the same strategy by shortening development cycles and letting go of trial production runs and jumping straight into massive scale manufacturing. Yes, you heard that right, jumping straight to full scale manufacturing of a product which is very cutting edge and that too in ridiculous numbers. The same rules for software design cannot be easily implemented for hardware design. Initial results. The first candidate for transforming a factory into an alien dreadnought devoid of human workers was the old GM Toyota factory in Fremont, California. The site was finalized in 2016 and Musk gave full freedom to all his engineers to retool the production facility for mass production. For this purpose, two automation companies were connected, Groman and Prebix. These companies would aim to develop in-house robotics. The robotics were to automate every step in the production process without any exception 
Engines. The company brought some 1,000 robots, which included six Axis arms from KUKA and Fanuk. More purchases were made from Omron for automated vehicles. These robotics were tasked with more mundane tasks such as welding or painting. But later additions were given more complex and innovative tasks such as assembling wire harnesses. So how did the plan go? Well, not so good. In April 2018, the entire project had gone awry. The production numbers were way behind their calculated projections. The ambitious number of producing 5,000 cars a week was only backed up to 2,000 cars a week in reality. This led to a huge loss of $100 million per week. The work environment was terrible. There were many health and safety issues. Employees were disgruntled and led to mass resignations in the alien dreadnought. The period itself was called production hell by Elon Musk. The robotics department was not able to achieve the quality specifications specifications required by the Model 3 design. Little inefficiencies and inconsistencies spiraled into bigger ones. Delays in production were imminent. To stop derailing the company, Musk ordered the immediate hiring of temporary workers to back up production. But why did initial attempts at automation produce so dismal results? Most analysts have blamed the overhauling of the production for the slacking in production numbers and quality control issues. It is important to recall why this automation strategy fell apart in the first place. For one, Tesla tried to do everything possible at the same time. This means that they set out to achieve a new innovative product through a mechanism which was never tried before. Let's break down the issues. The first issue was the site itself. Tesla was using an old GM Toyota factory. This meant that the engineers did not have the schematics designed to their specifications. They had to work with what they had. The facility itself was designed in 1962. And and had been radically innovated to gear it into an automatic production factory. Although the company had the financial resources to redesign the facility from the ground up, it did not have the time. This meant that there was little time to make the essential changes for the alien dreadnought to work at their desired pace. Another big issue was the new design of Model 3. The features which this car had were new for Tesla and for the overall industry. To further complicate matters, Tesla aimed to bring these features at a cheaper price than the competition. This meant that strict deadlines would inevitably result in quality lapses. For instance, the battery cells were upgraded from the earlier Model S. The new cells would feature more battery capacity, and although the robotic production was tailored to produce those cells efficiently, the increased size of the cells was not taken into account. As a result, mechanical failures began to pile up, and manual workers were required before any of these issues could be addressed. The new process of automation. The product and the process itself was not mature enough for automation at this point, so reliability and replicability of the whole automation process was out of the question. Each robot had to be trained to the required speed and quality before any commitments would be made. The addition of new and untested robots, absurd production targets, and an untested production design almost bankrupted Tesla. By addressing these challenges, Elon Musk was able to turn his company around. As a result, Model 3 is one of the best cars made to date and the automation process is at least 10 years ahead of its time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching the video and we'll catch you on the next one.